in KV Studio, programming using ST language is available as well as using the latter program. ST language is the function to operate by directly writing the formula as shown here. Readability of data processing and string processing is higher with the ST language than the latter program. There are two types of ST language for KV Studio. The first one is Area ST, which is executed all the time. The other type is Box ST, which executes the content only when the execution conditions described here are on. I will introduce how to program using the ST language with KV Studio. When using the ST language, right click the ladder and insert the ST language from this menu, or by using the shortcut key shown here. First, let me introduce Area ST. The Area ST is the ST being executed in every scan by occupying from the first to tenth columns. Next is Box ST. Box ST is the ST language that occupies from the 5th to 10th columns. It executes the content only when the execution conditions described here are on. This time, I will use the Box ST, and will delete the Area ST. When editing the ST language, double-click the Target ST language. Let's write a program using the ST language. In the ST language, when you enter a part of variable name, a list of variable candidates are displayed. This is a formula used to get the defect ratio. It is available for four arithmetic operations, trigonometric functions such as sine and cosine, or even more complex operations such as exponentiation. In addition, writing control statements such as if statement are also available. Let's write the if statement. As you can see, you can write if statements. In addition, using ST language eases the difficulty of combining and cutting the character strings. This sentence is made by combining a character string with a colon to this result string character string. Then, the defect ratio converted to the character string was combined. When this str function is used, this numeral value can be converted to the character string. For or next statements can also be written. By writing this way, this IDX variable starts from zero. Every time IDX executes one loop, two is added. When 100 is exceeded, the loop ends. Today, we are not using this for loop so I will delete this. After editing the ST language, press the Control plus Enter key or click any area other than the ST language. The edit mode ends. Next, let's convert the ST language into ladder. By right-clicking the ST language, you can convert from this menu. 
Converting is also available by using the Ctrl plus Shift plus T shortcut key. Now, I will convert. When conversion succeeds, a plus mark is displayed. If there is any error in the syntax, the conversion fails. At the lower section of the screen, a cause of failure is displayed. Click this plus mark, expanding the ST into ladder program. The ST language is executed inside as a ladder program. I will write the execution conditions of the ST language. Now we'll transfer this program to the PLC. When KV Studio is in monitor mode, the ST monitor which indicates the variable value is displayed next to the variable on the ST language. You can check the variable value by using this ST monitor. You can also use the registration monitor window and or the watch window to check. This is the watch window. Right click the ST and then click on this menu. The watch window is displayed here. The watch window is a function which the variables in the selected ST language and or the ladder program are automatically registered. Now, let's input values to the total parts and good parts respectively by using the watch window. Now, turn on the execution conditions. The ST language executes and begins to store the variables and character string information has started.